Hello, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the CEO of SecPoint.com. I'm here today with a portable penetrator and I'm going to show how to do a wireless VP crack. As we can see here, I'm in the interface where it is scanning all the wireless networks in the air. We can see here there's actually a big list of 54 networks so far. It is updating the interface every 15 seconds. And now we can see it has actually discovered 60 networks. So now I click on stop scan and select network. And of course we are only allowed to crack networks that we have a permission to. And in this case here I have my own router that is called the Fort Knox VP. Then I go here and click on the MAC address. And then it takes me to the next step where I can launch the attack. And then I simply launch audit and it will initialize the attack against the VP network. We can actually see here in the interface the status, so we can always see how far it is in the cracking process. And currently it is now initializing. I can also show here my antenna. I have an external antenna and this comes with an 8 dBi strong antenna. This gives a very wide range for scanning. And here we can actually see my D-Link router and this one is called a Fort Knox with a VP encryption. And remember you are only allowed to attack your own net network or networks you have gotten a permission to. So now we can see here in the interface it says authentication OK, and that means it has now authenticated to the router and now it's sniffing and waiting to get a gold packet. When it has gotten the gold packet, it will then inject the gold packet to the router and this will create a lot of traffic. When that is done, it will start the password cracker and hopefully in a matter of few minutes, it will show the password on the screen. Always when you do a VP cracking or a VPA of course, then sometimes it can be a very fast crack that can be done within 5 minutes and other times it can take a longer time, such as 10 minutes or one hour. Here we can see now it has actually got the gold packet and it says got XOR packet. And I can actually click on it. And then it takes me to the detail screen here where I can see exactly what is going on. And now the next step is that the password cracker is running and then we can see how far it is. Right now it has captured 67 IVS. For a successful VP crack, it may need between 30,000 to 50,000 IVS. Because it has authentic correctly and gotten the gold packet XOR, it will generate this traffic very quickly. So we can now click again here. And we can see it, see it still waiting. So I go back. And then I go back to the main menu. And now we can see it says the cracker is running. Furthermore, it will actually tell you everything uh, about the network once it has cracked it. It tells the channel it's running on, the MAC address, the name of the network, the type of encryption, and how long time it took to crack the network. So when you have done several cracked networks in the interface, you have a complete history where you can always go back and see when the attack was performed. I can now click again on the cracker running and then it takes me to the interface here and we can see how many IVS it has recorded. So now we are almost 16,000 and again it could be between sometimes 20 to 50,000 or other times 30 to 50,000 IVS that are required in order to get the password. And in this case here we are actually running it off the portable penetrator that is based on the Dell netbook. And this is a very small uh, device. It comes with an extended battery for a long uh, battery life and it's very easy to carry it around. And also the pricing on this model is very fair. So most uh, 
IT consultancies can afford it. Another benefit with the portable penetrator is that you can go to your customer location and do the wireless auditing at their networks. And of course, you need to have a permission from the customer before you do it. And now we can go back on the cracker running and we can actually see how many IVS it has captured. And the interface is not updating every second, it updates around every minute in order not to spend all the resources on the update process. And now I just go back here and then we can see how far it is. And once it has cracked uh, the network, it will show up in the list and actually you can connect to the cracked network from the portable penetrator and when you have connected to the network then you can do the vulnerability scanning and do other auditing uh, on the network. And also when I go to the status indication here I can actually see everything about the target network such as the MAC address and the date and which channel it is running on. And here we can see that it authenticated successfully and it actually shows all the information in the interface. So you can always see exactly what is going on. And now I go back to the password cracker. Ah, and we can actually see it did the crack. So in this case here, it required 47,000 IVS to be captured and here's the password. So now I just go back and I go down here and back again and then we see in the interface here it has actually cracked it and shown the key in the interface. And then I can click on the connect button to connect to this network and start scanning all the IP addresses. So for more information please visit www.secpoint.com. Thank you for your time.